All right, my friends, welcome back to Frogboy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and today I wanted to kind of talk to you guys about the Logitech G923. So I put out a couple videos yesterday. I put out the, uh, obviously, the unboxing all the way up to trying out um, Gran Turismo 7. I tried out some EA Sports WRC and some WRC Generations. Um, but <laughs> here's, a, here's where the, here's where the, here's where, like, things really kick in. So... If you guys have heard about the, the Logitech, you've heard about the True Force. Obviously, that is Logitech's proprietary um, feature that actually, you know, delivers more of a sensation while racing. Now, the Logitech G923 doesn't have the strongest force feedback in the uh, in the price range where it's at. That would go to the Thrustmaster T248, obviously, and overall. Um, in overall force feedback strength and stuff uh, but what the logitech g923 does deliver through true force is a very i'm gonna say this is a very interesting um proposition for a will at this price point now when things didn't really click until i jumped on a settle course at competencione on the pc now i have a fanatec dd pro Fanatec is like hands down incredible when it comes to like their their uh, direct drive technology, especially on like the DB Pro. Uh, you get these extra feelings and stuff while while you're driving, while you're racing. Well, I think that Logitech's True Force might actually be better um, in terms of like what you can actually feel through this wheelbase. And the overall force feedback, um, say, say on a game like on a game like a settled course of Competizione, where where like everything matters, and the force feedback model on a settled course of Competizione to Competizione to me is so realistic and so and, and so good on like the Fanatec DD Pro, whereas like other wheels, obviously like it feels good no matter where you're at. But I'm gonna tell you right now, the overall feeling that I was getting from this from this Logitech wheelbase, um, I could, uh, the other day, um, I was driving on the freeway, we were heading, we were heading down south a, for a little while, and, and like I could feel, like through the steering wheel, uh, my, my tires on the ground, you know, I, I, I could feel that, like I could get that, that sense of, that, that sense of feeling, you know, and I kind of felt like, you know, like, okay, I got traction, everything like that. Well, this wheelbase, the the the, uh, the Logitech G923, actually delivers on that that like gritty road texture feeling through this wheelbase, and and I was noticing that I was even noticing that on Gran Turismo 7. And Gran Turismo 7, if you guys have been to the channel for a while, you guys know that like my experience on a wheelbase for that game has just not been the the greatest. So when I'm sitting there and I'm playing it on the Logitech, I'm like, wow, this actually feels damn incredible with this True Force. And then that translates over to a set of course of Competizione where it's even better. Like that just, it feels so refined, it's not even funny. And then I tried out Automobilista 2. And to my surprise, even Automobilista 2 delivers on that True Force, that, that sensation. Now guys, I don't want to like try to like oversell this feature. But it is damn good. Does it work with every game? Not, not yet. I mean, but what I've what I've experienced in some of my favorite track racing games with True Force, I'm a believer in this technology. Now, when I'm sitting there, when I was sitting there on a set of course of Competizione, I felt like like I could feel the road. And that was so important to me, and that's just a feeling I don't get on the on the on the Fanatec DD Pro, or at least it doesn't come through. Maybe maybe it's because of the lower overall force that the, that the Logitech is putting out that I can just feel so much more of that road surface, whereas like maybe on the Fanatec it just kind of feels like it's clipping. But now I have like a baseline from the Logitech, so when I put the Fanatec back on there, I can try to set things up even a little bit better, maybe knock down the, the power ratio to like 50% or something to see if maybe maybe it wasn't just like clipping or something, but this, this Logitech is actually something pretty freaking special, and I think that you guys would be very impressed 
with exactly what this can do in the sim racing community. I, I kind of feel like this is something that everybody should try and everybody should experience so that we know, like, I feel like this is a very good feature in the, in, in the sim racing community. I do. I, I feel like this is, this is very important and I would like all wheelbases to start feeling something similar to this. Now, as you know, the Rustmaster has their, their new direct drive wheel that's going to be coming out here shortly. Um, that one there is supposed to have features called resonance or not necessarily resonance, but it's supposed to deliver that, that haptic ta uh, tactile feeling as well. Um, and then you also have um, the new Fanatec bases and stuff that, you know, like the, the DD Plus and the DD, um, the DD Pro or whatever, those, those new wheel bases from Fanatec and stuff. So, I don't know guys, this has actually got me thinking about um, picking up the, uh, the Logitech uh, the Logitech G Pro or whatever that one is, that their direct drive wheel that has the true force in there as well. I can't, I can't explain how important I think this feature is, and I think it's definitely worth your time and your consideration to not just look at the the Logitech wheelbase as like a a toy. Um, because yeah, obviously the force feedback is, 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 isn't is strong and it isn't as strong as something that we would get from like a Fanatec DD Pro or any any direct drive wheel for that matter. But what's here is enjoyable, it's fun, feels incredible, and you can actually utilize this wheelbase to, to sim race. Like you can actually utilize this and, and it does deliver a great experience. So feels good the overall the overall quality it, it, it like feels like a pretty premium setup so yeah guys i don't have any i don't have any issues with this if, if this is something that's been on your radar or something that you um considered picking up as somebody that just wants to get into sim racing definitely keep this one in mind like this one here is an actual pretty dang good it's it's pretty easily set up everything um getting in there jumping on playing around with this thing very very easy didn't really have any issues with any of that it, it is pretty dang plug and play um and, and it worked with every game that, that i tried it with right out of the freaking right out of the box so i was like yeah this is this is good this is something that i feel like you'll be able to continue to grow with and have fun with versus you know uh some of the other wheels on the market i also do stand by you know the, the thrustmaster t248 i think that's an incredible wheel um, that there's going to give you a lot more overall force feedback, but the, the, the force feedback on the on the uh, on the Logitech definitely feels so refined that it's like, man, that that, that is that that's a hard one. That is a very that, that I I find myself in a very unique tough position in recommending either one of these wheels um, over the other one because I would gladly give up the extra force feedback to have a more refined experience on the Logitech G923, but I also really love that extra feedback or that, that force feedback that you get from, from the Thrustmaster like in, in games like EA, um, EA Sports WRC. Here's the thing, I'd rather play EA Sports WRC with the feedback from the Fanatec on the on the on uh, well, on, on the uh, from the feedback on the uh, on the Thrustmaster T248, I I love that. But then again, I also find it very enjoyable to play on the G923. But when it's switched up, and we're talking about a set of course of Competizione or Gran Turismo 7 or um, Automobilista 2, I think the choice for me would be on the Logitech. That's where I would rather play those three games. It's. Uh, but I'm more of a I'm more of a rally fan, so it's like three versus one, you know. It's like, yeah. <laughs> but this actually does do a decent enough job on the uh, on the EA Sports WRC guys. Like, I don't know. I'm, I find myself pretty torn, and and I'm glad that I don't necessarily have to choose. I have access to to all three of them. I just play which of the one um, I want to play with at, at the time. I'll be covering this this here for a little while longer. I've got my new. Um, I got my new, um, I should have my, uh, my TGT2 tomorrow, so hopefully um, we'll be able to get some content out for that as well. So yeah guys, I'm excited about that. 
And uh, we'll be doing some uh, new EA Sports WRC content later tonight with the new season. So we'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.